Hello everyone. In this video, we will see a class of algorithm or a category of algorithm called the greedy algorithms. We have seen several examples for greedy algorithms. A few of them are the Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm and Prim's algorithm. And all of these algorithms are greedy algorithms. The peculiarities of greedy algorithms are listed over here. Greedy algorithms work in phases. In each phase, a decision is made that appears to be good without regard for future consequences. That is, we will make a decision depending on what appears to be good at that moment without any regard for what will happen in the future. And generally this means that we are selecting some local optimum rather than the global optimum. It is like take what you can get now and that strategy is the source of the name for this class of algorithms. Okay. And when the algorithm terminates, we hope that the local optimum is equal to the global optimum. If this is the case, the algorithm is correct. Otherwise, the algorithm has produced a suboptimal solution. In several cases, we will go for that suboptimal solution because if the absolute best answer is not required, then simple greedy algorithms are sometimes used to generate approximate answers rather than using more complicated algorithms generally required to generate the exact global optimal answer. There are several applications in real life where we will be going for a greedy approach Imagine that you are traveling from a city A to another city B and from A you have two different roads to choose from. You can choose either of them but at that moment in time you see the first road is bit free and the second road has a very high traffic then obviously you will be choosing the first road. But from this junction onwards you may be seeing this road may be closed. In that situation you are not going to get to the intended destination. In that situation, it may be okay to take the first road which has little bit more traffic. The road may be free after the first junction that you are meeting. Okay, so this is how the greedy algorithm works. And another example for real life greedy algorithms are, imagine that you are going to buy certain thing from a shop and the cost of that item is 60 rupees and you are giving the salesperson 2000 rupees. So you will have to get a change of 1940 rupees so usually when we get the changes we will be getting maximum number of higher denominations right so this change will be getting in the form of let's say 3 into 500 then uh, 2 into 200 then 2 into 20 so you will never expect to get uh, something like uh, 19 into 100 that is 90 numbers of 100 denomination currency okay so the salesperson will have a greedy approach that is he will be trying to give away the maximum number of highest denomination currencies so these are few uh, real life examples that you can uh, find uh, for a greedy approach or for a greedy algorithm okay one algorithm that we have already seen is the dijkstra's shortest path algorithm imagine that you have several vertices in a graph let's say a b C, D, E, F, these are the connections, okay, and these are the edge course, let's say, and you have to find the shortest path from A to F, okay, so in that situation, you will be starting from this point, okay, then you will calculate the distances to its adjacent vertices, so here you will get 2 and here you will get 10. Then in the very next step you are going to be greedy because out of B and D you will choose the one which has the lower distance. So obviously you will be choosing the distance B. Okay. So this is the greedy approach that we are executing in this phase. Then from B to C you will calculate the distance. So the distance will be 12. Then at the next stage we will be selecting the one with the lowest cost. So in this situation D has the lowest cost. So you are again going to get greedy. So you will be choosing this one. Then you will calculate the cost to the next vertex. So we will be calculating uh, 10 plus 5 which will be 15. Out of 12 and 15 you will choose the one which has the lowest cost. That is you will be choosing the vertex C which has the cost 12. So again you are going to be greedy. Okay. Now from here you will calculate the distance to the vertex F. So 12 plus 20 will be 32. Now in the next step you will be choosing the one with the lowest distance that is 32 
and 15 then out of this 32 and 15 you will be choosing the one with the lowest distance again you are going to take a greedy approach so you will be choosing the vertex with a cost of 15 then you will recalculate the distance so this will be 15 plus 4 that is equal to 19 so we can remove this 32 the shortest distance will be 19 then you have this vertex then you have only this vertex left so you will be finalizing this vertex so the smallest distance from a to f will be for that you first took the path which was this one from a to b but essentially at the end you are taking a path that is this one that is the one which goes through the downside even though the cost appears to be less in the first instance when you take the distance from a to b to it was 10 if you take the path from a to d but at the end you have to take the path which is going from a to d then to e then to f so this is how the greedy algorithm works i hope it is clear thank you